Look at this beautiful roadmap made by Odysseys 1992. I saw this. I had to make a video about it. My wife is baking banana bread so the kids are busy. I have 10 minutes. Let's do this. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. I am Montoya, posted on Reddit by Odysseys 1992. He belongs to an organization called Four Nut, the number four N U T. It is a French org. If you enjoy the company of French people and Odysseys 1992, who made this beautiful roadmap, go check out his organization. Let's get right into this. All right, we are in patch 3.1 right now. In my previous video, I said. This is not the patch you're looking for. Now, there's an ongoing joke that every patch is going to be the right one. <laughs> yeah, it's not funny anymore. Or well, yeah. But honestly, this is why 3.2 is the patch that you want to get into. A lot of people keep posting how they have not played Star Citizen for a long time. They backed the game in 2014 or 2013 and then forgot about it and only come back now to play it. Wow, are they in for a treat. Well, first of all, 3.1.1, the last patch we're in right now, is pretty damn good. Um, there have been reports, there's one guy who was posting just on Red this morning that he had 10 hours of playtime with no crashes. Now, this is a big thing. If you managed to go an hour without a crash, yeah, you were doing well. Also, Captain Richard was streaming from PAX, from the Elgato booth, and uh, I was biting my nails because he was streaming Star Citizen, and all the Star Citizen backers were like, oh God, like please don't crash when you've got an audience watching you. <laughs> and no, it didn't, it was perfectly stable. So 3.1.1, they definitely licked some issues, and everything's looking pretty good. But why do we want to wait for 3.2? I'll tell you why in a second, but uh, let's first take a look at this beautiful, beautiful roadmap. And in 3.2, what we have coming our way which will make the performance good. Uh, this is brown section right over here. Network bind culling, very, very important for performance and performance optimizations obviously come along with that at 0% complete, but bind culling 45% complete and this is due in Q2 2018. It is the next coming patch in a month or two months, so I should check the date before I did this. But this is what is going to boost the performance for everyone. This is the patch which is going to give you better frame rates. Now, I have 8 gigs of RAM and I'm running a GTX, a GTX 970. It's by no means a high-end machine in today, uh, these days. But I'm getting a solid 30 frames uh, through my playthroughs on Star Citizen. So I can only imagine that will improve after 3.2. So as far as performance goes for people getting uh, frame spikes... I mean, frame lags and uh, other issues. 3.2 is the patch where that's going to be fixed up. But let's take a look at what else is happening. Uh, Legacy Armor, Legacy Outlaw Armor. I like that one. That was a good one. Port Odyssey Collection, RSI Odyssey Flight Suit Rework. I don't know why they need a rework. I mean, it looks pretty good already. Quantum Linking. That's going to be fun. What Quantum Linking is, when you and your friends are on your ships together, you can all jump at the same time to a location. It's going to be great for planning attacks, attacking pirates, attacking other players. Perfect for exactly the surprise attacks which you need in all kind of combat. So I'm looking forward to that coming into the place. Item 2.0, we know about. Manned turrets on vehicles. So if you have the uh, tumbrel, the cyclone, the manned turret will be on it. That'll be a lot of fun to drive around with a friend. Item kiosk shopping is coming back. Quantum travel improvements. I'm not sure what improvements will be to that. Uh, looking forward to what happens with that. Uh, service beacon improvements. But let's go down here and you see a whole bunch of things have been pushed off to 3.3. Refueling, repair, prospecting, extraction, refining, selling mining products, salvaging from scanning, extraction, processing. A lot of these things which will add to gameplay, to something to do besides trading, have been shifted to 3.3. People are pretty upset about it, but you know they must have their reasons. I guess they want to focus on performance improvements on 3.2 before putting those things in. So if you're looking to do something in the game besides trading, then 3.2 is not the patch for you. It's 3.3. Uh, honestly, now, this is going to be blasphemous, but I can tell you from my experience in Star Citizen, it's pretty boring after a while, if all you're doing is try trading back and forth, I'm speaking for me personally, I know people who have put hundreds of hours into trading already, and they're loving it. They love going from Port Alassar to the different bases, to the drug labs, going back and forth and trading and 
getting as much uh, alpha USDs as possible. They're loving it. But for me, and I know some people agree with me, that because there's no persistence and because this doesn't actually lead to anything, I don't have much drive to do it. But I'm glad to hear other people are really enjoying it. And it's just proving that the game mechanics do work and we're having good insight into what the actual trading mechanics will be in a finalized version of the game. So it's good. But I was really looking forward to other things like scanning and processing and repairing ships manually. Looks like we'll have to wait a bit longer, but glad to see it's on the way. Wear and tear coming in 3.2, which is great. So the more you use a ship or a weapon, there'll be wear and tear in it. They'll be interesting to see what happens with that. Uh, the Mustang revision. Yes. Yes. I remember when they first revealed the Mustang. I thought, oh, this is a beautiful ship, but there's too many control services. What's up with all the wings all over the place? Now, I'm not watching to question ship design uh there's people who do this for a living and this was someone's vision of a ship and chris roberts approved it i always thought that the mustang had way too many wings and things prodding all over the place i'm very very happy to see the smooth out sleek version coming yes make the mustang great again origin 600 i mm -mm, i cannot wait for that i upgraded my constellation phoenix now the phoenix was the my main game package i thought this is the ship for me it is the only ship i need it was a tough decision i sat there for a good must have been 45 minutes thinking if i should do it or not and then i, I slept in it you should always sleep on these things and wake up the next day and i woke up the next morning i said you know what i got the phoenix because i wanted the luxury ship and the origin 600 is the epitome of luxury besides the 890 jump. So I made the shift to that, and uh, I'm really counting the days until I can actually get in that and fly it around. That's going to be very exciting to see. Anvil Hurricane, beautiful ship in Aegis Eclipse. Uh, Mustang Vandal Blade. What else is happening here? The Gemini R97 shotgun is coming out, and then obviously bind culling pumps performance optimizations we just spoke about. So that is the next patch, 3.2.0, the patch you have been waiting for. I will drop a link to this exact roadmap below my video. Let me know your thoughts about these up and coming changes in 3.2. Let me know what you're looking forward to the most. Is 3.2 the patch you are looking for? Give me a thumbs up, give me a comment below. I'll see you in the next one.